Hi, and welcome to the Strategy Guitar Overview video. The Strategy is based on the Fender Stratocaster guitar, and we sampled about everything there is to sample on it. In the video, I will show you everything you can do with it. The advanced strumming, the picking, the automatic patterns, the numerous voicings, the song builder, and of course, the solo mode. First, as Stratocasters have three pickups, we sampled all three of them separately, allowing you to use the five different positions available in the original, or even use them all three together with customized volumes. You can also load and unload them on the fly to lower the memory footprint. Now let's get to the main part, the strumming and picking. Just like for the other guitar libraries we make, the idea is simple. On a guitar, you separate the left and right hand. One selects the chord and the other just strums it. We are doing the exact same thing here. The left hand selects a chord, our engine recognizes it and selects a voicing. Then you can simply press one of the trigger keys to strum it in different ways. C and D play the down and up strums. And then E, F, G, A, B and C trigger the separated strings. The rest of the triggers have all their useful functions covered in the manual. You can also use the piano mode. This mode will strum a chord as soon as you press it, and re-triggering any note of that chord will strum it again. The mixed mode is a combination of the solo and piano mode. You can play melodies, but as soon as you press three or more notes, it will strum a chord. The chord recognition already features many chords and voicings. But if a voicing is not in our database, you can add it easily. You can also simply edit the current ones and save that for another session. The used voicing depend on the octave of the chord you press. So for example, an E major in octave 1 uses a voicing, and an E major in octave 2 can use another one. There are a few parameters that you can modify to control how the chords are strummed. The clean play will allow you to play as badly as you want, allowing random missed notes in each chord. The chord hammers will allow you to hammer from a chord to another. This is useful, for example, when playing arpeggios. Note that when no chord is selected, the triggers use muted samples instead, allowing to play things like that.
By default, the up and down triggers are separated, but you can make that automatic. The chords will be stopped when you release your left hand, but you can also let them ring to have a little more time to change chords. The accent decides how hard you have to strum the chord so that all six strings are used, the minimum being the min string amount. The strum center is basically how you place your hand above the strings, making the top, middle or bottom strings louder. Of course, the strum speed controls how fast the chord is strummed. The capo just acts as a capo, and it can be negative to detune the guitar, but it can also be used as a transposing effect. Also we sample the palm mutes, and you can choose which mutes are used and if you want to play all sustains with palm mutes engaged. Since we recorded the guitar with the pick and also fingers, you have the choice to use one or the other for every playing style. A lot of today's rock music is doubled, so we added a doubling function. The engine will play slightly different versions using the round robin samples and hard pan each of them creating a very full sound. The song builder helps you play complex chords very easily. All you have to do is press one note and it will be recognized as a full chord. Then you can just focus on the strumming. By default, they are all set to power chords. But you can set them all to any kind of chord and even change the root and type independently for each of them. There also are a few song presets and harmony modes that will help you create a song in minutes.
to make things even easier, we created the patterns. They will do the strumming or picking for you. A list of patterns is already included, but you can create and share your own using the Pattern Editor. The Pattern Editor helps you create realistic patterns, and very easily. You can create picking or strumming, include mutes and slides, choose the up or down strokes, and many more options. The length of the pattern is virtually infinite. To help you start, you can load one of the patterns from the list and just edit the parts you want. Of course, you can add that newly created patterns to the current list or, or export it to use it in another project. You have control over many parameters of the patterns like the average velocity, shuffle and sync. We, of course, added a solo mode. We created an advanced hand position algorithm that will choose the correct position on the neck depending on what you play and you can also force it to play on a certain position. Our powerful legato script will allow you to play amarons, pull-offs, as well as slides. A few additional key switches allow you to play harmonics, mutes, slide up or slide down samples. The sustain pedal will also allow you to repeat notes and play with triggers. Bending the strings and playing vibratos is an important part of the guitar playing, so we measured the pitch and volume evolution of both and added it to the modulation wheel and pitch bend so that it's really easy to play. We also created a pedal board and an amp simulation. You can select and tweak 10 high quality effects. Let's hear a few of them. Thank you. 
In addition to the effects, we created amp models and some well-known Strat compatible amps. These models include solo or stereo recordings, and you can set the microphones wherever you want in front of the amp. And you can also add room mix to capture a little more ambience. We also include some FX presets, and you can save yours to use in other projects. That's it for this video. You can find the Strategy Guitar on AcousticSample.net. Thank you for watching.